gentlemen, welcome to Drive by Reviews, where today we're looking at an Asus desktop, the M32 series. Now this was a Cyber Monday deal, and as such came at only $360 with a one terabyte hard drive, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a sixth generation i5 processor, which to me is a pretty fantastic deal. But then again, one of the tower PCs have kind of gone out of style. By the way, you're going to have to forgive me today. I've gone through a little bit of an injury, and I'm a little bit bed-bound right now. But that doesn't stop me from buying great deals. So let's crack open this box and see what's inside this Asus packaging. All right, now, if you looked at my recent videos with the Alienware Alpha i3, just purely based on its stats, this computer is more powerful. Um, however, it's, it's for a different purpose. And that really is the only reason to buy different sized items. So as always, they've gotten really adept at packaging these materials safely. Let's see, what do we got here? Probably some cords. Yeah, we got a mouse. This particular desktop comes with uh, a keyboard and a mouse. Alright. Nicely done. I was impressed with the shipping speed. This drop shipped from one state away. So, even though the shipping was free and supposedly going to take five to eight days, it actually took only one. Hang on, before I get to the desktop, why don't we take this out? Ah, there's our keyboard. I'm going to guess it's an old school plug-in USB. Eh, not a bad design. It's always nice to have those thrown in. You can use them or you, as like a s extra keyboard. There we go. Boom. Take a look at this beauty. Love that new computer smell. There we go. As far as pre made towers go, not too bad of a design. A brushed nickel finish, it looks like. So, not as bland as I thought, but very nice. So there we go. Just the stats straight up on what we got here. Uh, pretty basic stuff. Just a, a nice home computer to have with a little bit more power than is necessary just with the basic day-to-day -day. you could play some pretty decent games on this computer also we've got some of their boasting rights here um, with the upgraded USB ports and some awards the main thing here that I find interesting uh, is that this is coming with Windows 10 and honestly I've kind of stayed away from Windows 10 so I finally get to experience that monstrosity uh, for better or for worse Okay, here we have the Asus all set up, so we're going to take a look at the startup and Windows 10. Okay, like any typical Windows PC. It's going to take its sweet time on its first startup. Uh, there's the Microsoft understatement of the year, updating the computer upon startup. This might take a while. Ironically, I actually went through the options and turned off all the auto stuff, but it uh, looks like Windows 10 doesn't give you the option not to update it. I might have missed it, but I don't think I did, so... It's an interesting progression with Windows. Okay, yeah, so one of the, while we're waiting for the computer to start up, um, one of the best components of this is the USB drive, which it has 3.1 Type A USB ports, which uh, is two times the speed of 3.0. So it'll be kind of fun to use that, <laughs> and they're great to have if you have any hardware that can actually take advantage of that speed. Uh, beyond that, you know, the main thing with this particular tower is just it was a really good deal on Cyber Monday, uh, considering that computers like this have really hung around in the higher ranges of pricing, which is ridiculous because there's not really a huge market for towers anymore. Um, but, you know, just like any technology, it kind of goes in with a supply and demand curve, and when there's not enough buyers, it becomes more expensive to obtain. So, luckily, this has come down in price, and, uh, yeah, hopefully it works well. It doesn't get uh, bogged down by Windows 10. Basically. They've gone from honesty uh, to lies. So that's interesting on the <laughs> on the progression through Windows setup. Uh, good work, Microsoft. <laughs> okay, here we are, Windows 10. And once again, Windows is trying to impress us with a nice backdrop. Beautiful picture. Well, let's take a look here. I find it interesting that computers have gone to apps now. Let's see here. Okay, so similar to 8.1, except instead of pulling up a whole new window, which was very annoying. I didn't like that. Um, it's just going to pull up a standard, kind of like going back to the early versions where it just pulls up a menu. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of bloatware in here. Not too bad, though. Just 
some basic apps. Why in the world do we have Candy Crush? <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Um, Internet Explorer. Oh, good lord! Why do we not have Chrome or Firefox? That's an interesting internet button. Where's the? Oh. Okay. Not sure why I had a need to turn off the screen, but <laughs> I just want to go to the internet, guys. Can we? Wow, really? Can we just make this common sense here? All right, first order of business. Let's get Firefox because I'm not going to use Internet Explorer. Who in the world would? Let's just test out its capabilities on program installation and use. I want to do a little more exploring on Windows 10. I actually like it better than 8.1. Yeah, that's uh, Xfinity's supposed 50 megabytes per second speed. Bogus. Don't ever go with Xfinity if you can help it. That's a free one right there. They didn't have to pay me for that comment. Who to use instead? Uh, anybody else. That's a free one too. All those companies can pay me later. Okay, import work. I don't want to import anything. Interesting. I'll deal with that later. So Windows 10 is trying to be intuitive by having me change options when I'm in the middle of installing a program, which I find curious. Huh. Firefox has been designed for Windows. It's kind of creepy. Okay. All right, I will give Windows 10 this and the course's computer, the Asus M32 series. A uh, little kudos because they don't have my computer anymore. They have the File Explorer. Um, but once you pull up the File Explorer <laughs> icon, it pulls up basically, you know, everything you need to get through your documents and uh, this PC, which is what my computer used to be. Um, but very fluid. It works well for what I'm, you know, just searching through. And I like the fact that they don't put all the bloatware icons all over the place. I mean, they definitely have weird stuff in here, like the Xbox Live connections and all that stuff. But uh, for the most part, they've kept that to a minimum. The downside, of course, is uh, Microsoft is still being skimpy on their Office products, and they just won't give it to you for free um, or even that cheap anymore. So... You know, if, you, if you're a student and you need word processing or a worker that needs word processing on your home computer, you got to dish out for it find something else to use. All right, yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I might give this uh, computer a little bit of run for its money later. Uh, but for now, this is just a setup, and I like it so far. It's sleek. It's what it's designed to do. It's big, and it's bulky. But if that's what you're looking for is a new tower, uh, for 360 bucks, you really can't do a lot better until next Black Friday or Cyber Monday. All right, tune in next time, guys. Thanks for watching.